as we move on now to our final discussion for today it has to do with the ensas protests it is generating a lot of uh, debates across board uh, some people say look let's go ahead with the protest some are saying no consider the level of damages done consider the number of lives uh, that, were, that were lost last year security agents uh, officials were killed you know, as a matter of fact the police command from various sections of the country have uh, put out statements here in Lagos or your state as well I mean about the ENSAS protests whether uh, I mean uh, cautioning against the protests so we'd we'll we'll like to hear from you as well about this do you think we should go ahead with the protests or not um, yes yeah, so we do have uh, callers uh, reaching us now so perhaps we should we could take you feedbacks on our earlier discussions thank you for joining us uh what's your name and your location please victor yes go ahead victor with your thoughts go ahead victor all right well it was difficult to actually hear your your submission <laughs> I, didn't know. No, I think i could pick you said that's the right way to go i think that's why that's what he said oh uh, the protests or? no the, the, the transmission, the transmission. Also. okay yeah. all right well so more calls and feedbacks uh, in five minutes or ten or thereabouts uh, before we discuss our last uh topic for today well perhaps gentlemen we should even begin with our last discussion and SARS protests uh, one year after let me even ask <laughs> because dr dial <laughs> there are two schools of thought on one hand there are those who believe the government has responded to the demands of the protesters and there are those who are saying no the government have not responded to the demands of the and such protesters five over five seven over seven as, as a matter of fact the demands at some point was even confusing well i i wonder maybe you should help us <laughs> have it have these demands been met see in the first instance what those people are trying to do is not demonstration now it mm. is remembrance mm. anniversary remembrance so when they use the right word then i think the government will understand and people will also understand what, what's the right the, the right, right word? word is remembrance of remembrance of what happened about a year ago just like we have been we have been using 27th of may to remember the day the old nigerians the old nigeria the, we all came together all right, so, so, to vote for one person which was uh, uh, uh late day. late abiola okay no that was june 12. sorry june 12. Yeah. do you understand june 12. okay so the word to, to be used it, it, it's for remembrance the language yes remembrance, yes anniversary. No, no no remembrance of <laughs> because it's number one anniversary. And because anniversary of what i'm saying is, right? people are talking about demonstration now it's not about demonstration nobody is demonstrating that is one two to the demands of answers government as far as i'm concerned has not done anything anything whatsoever other than other than remove that word s a r s r s mm. okay one to what extent have they improved on the remuneration and all pack the, the the good packages for our police for them to be effective it was part of the demands of the protest do you understand to treat the to what extent to well. what extent have they been able to deliver democratic deliverables you see to solve this thing uh, 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 kelly i don't know whether you listen to my to my independence day uh, 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 broadcast. broadcast to the nation you can still check it mm. google, google i mean uh, search for dr dio on your you? youtube dr dio Cardi on youtube you see you will listen to it there i try to enumerate why are people protesting why are people protesting it is because of the idiocy of the government mm. and to there and to to again to also showcase 
they are cacophonic thinking. So the moment the moment government can change from that idiocy and they are not thinking historically, you going to see that everything in this country yes. will normalize. Doctor, uh, because we have viewers, uh, you, we may have to uh, break down the meaning of that word. <laughs> uh, you see, you see, it, it's, it's just like it's just like as you are, as you are now, as you are now, you know the language of broadcasting. Mm. For you now to come here and be using data language, which mm. is a desert of broadcasting, is cacistocratic. Mm. All right. If you see, see in terms of, you know that yes, it is Dr. Tarakao to 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 explain some things to viewers. You are now saying, I'm you, are now, you are now giving it to him <laughs> all of the time. Okay. So, uh, my you know, first, my all of the is, time. My first because, is because, because, your, because it's your friend. <laughs> Let's let's get into the conversation. Uh, yeah, Mr. Ka, I, uh, I mean, it's um, do you agree that the word the no, language I, is the I, problem I, I, yeah, even for the police, even for even the, the government? Even if they use the word protest, those guys have no power of any laws. I see it's mm. it's it's um, I mean, it's, senior, senior, senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falano, put out a statement there about this protest uh, say look it's it's the fundamental right you see i don't know you, yes. you, you see you see it's it's, it's, it's nice just no, it is just pure i don't know because i'll pa permit me and you probably allow me to say this it is just pure idiocy when we have to keep telling you the same thing every time when we have to keep coming out to the government and the protest that the protest it's a right of the citizens, they have the right to protest. So when you keep telling these guys, are these guys dullards? No. Are they that dumb? So my choice. Of, sorry, are they that unintelligent to assimilate or interpret the, the things, the sections of constitution that this with that? And you know, we've been saying this. They've been saying, okay, let's see, we've been with yes, so, military news since what are right. so, but I'm, coming, I'm still going to come to that. All right, now moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. I don't. Is it we got here because of the buffoonery exhibited by security agencies? I've spoken to, we, we all know the rules of engagement for military in, in, in urban conflicts, the rules of engagement when it comes to civil disturbance. There was no need for those guys to be engaged after the expiration of the coffee. All right, so let, let's let's get uh, Kennedy Insan uh, on board uh, before we take uh, more calls. Uh, Kennedy, well, perhaps we could even take more, one or two more calls before we come to you. Okay, but well, the rules are very simple. Turn on the volume of a TV set. Kennedy, thank you so much for standing by. Um, let, let me ask you this question before we move ahead. Does the government not have any right whatsoever, considering the level of damages to public infrastructure and government facilities and properties, to be wary <laughs> about the, the protests? <laughs> I didn't get a question. All right, that was question again, Kennedy. Now, I, I mean, does the government, yes. the government of the day, with current administration, uh, does the government not have any right whatsoever to be, to be worried, to be worried, to be concerned about uh, the, this uh, anniversary or protest or remembrance, considering the level of damages done to government properties, facilities? An infrastructure last year, uh, security officials were also killed in the process of this. Uh, the, the protests, I remember at some points, uh, being a policeman wasn't even easy to even wear uniforms on the street anymore. Mm. Okay, so Kenny, the other time you asked me a question, I made a reference to um, a particular article I was supposed to send to you. I like to always uh, make references, you know, uh, when asked questions like this to. Um, certain intellectual uh, uh, articles or books. If you have read the book by um, uh, Lee Kuan Yew uh, um, uh, from Third World to First World, you will see crystal clear about you know how citizens are meant to be engaged by government and what causes citizens not to destroy government installation and government facilities whenever there's a protest. These things are not rocket science. They have been drawn in other clients in other countries of the world. It is precisely because the citizens of Nigeria don't have a stake in a Nigeria state. You know, it is precisely because people don't feel uh, that they're part of government. That's why whenever there's a protest, you know, people go to target government installations and all of that. 
You know, you have, for example, the BRT service that is run in Lagos. Who is behind the BRT service that is run in Lagos? The capitalist model that we have adopted in Nigeria has made it such that individuals are the ones who are profiting from the way that the state is managed in Nigeria. And so that's why, you know, when there's the protest, people want to go and burn the BRT park because they know the owners of the BRT park and they know that the, the, the BRT service precisely, you know, is an, you know, um, uh, uh, it, it, it's a capitalist um, uh, agency that is meant to cycle resources from the Nigerian state. That aside, do not also forget that the reason for why, for why people began to uh, uh, target government institutions or government institutions was because of the, the, the rascality and the, the way that government went about handling the air force process. It was precisely government that introduced us. We saw the videos where, where talks, police vehicles were used to introduce talks in Abuja, you know, to brutalize entire protesters. It was, it was as a result of that that, you know, uh, um, this protest, you know, uh, um, uh, now, you know, uh, was hijacked by Hindu. The people who organized entire protest or who participated in that entire protest were not the ones who were responsible for damaging government installation or attacking government agencies. They were not the ones who were responsible. And it was precisely because of the high handedness with which government handled that protest that, that what happened happened. So the government of Nigeria has to uh, be responsible and responsive to the hearings of the people. Allow Nigeria to hear their voices whenever and whenever they did so. Uh, uh, for, for example, there is no way that government is going to uh, uh, um, um, say that they are not going to allow the remembrance of young Nigerians who were murdered on the 20th of October 2020. You know, so we have a responsibility as young people in Nigeria to remember that event. That event will remain a sore event in the history of Nigeria and in the present moment of the administration. Because the, the better way to increase that event will have been handled in such a way that the the the, the feelings the and, and, and ethics uh, guiding this profession. Um, sometimes as journalists, you, we have to play the devil's advocate and ask some questions. I mean, that's my job. That's no, I know. What makes me a journalist mm. <laughs> to play the devil's advocate and ask these questions and have two sides of the story and have mm. a balance mm. to our conversation. Uh, stand by. We'll check in with you as we round off on our conversation. Let's take some feedbacks. Well, thank you most kindly, Kennedy, for your thoughts. Um, Mr. Bolumade from Burning Kebi says, the decision of the Nigerian Senate to allow INEC to transmit election results electronically and also opt for direct primaries for nominating party members for elected positions uh, welcome development as they will mark a major milestone in the development of the country's electoral process. This is because it will accord the electorate the opportunity to vote into uh, political offices, people who would uh, truly represent them and serve their interests. It will also mark a significant departure from the mentality of many of our politicians of going into the political field for self-service, he says. Thank you so much, uh, Bolumade from Bernie Kerry. Thank you so much for your thoughts. Uh, this one says, my name is Boniface Amedu from Kuru. Uh, just. Okay, just uh, it says Nigeria does not need anything now. What we need is food, nothing more. Thanks and God bless you. Yeah, you see, that is even where I was going a lot of time before you so told me. Yeah. You see, since since that one year, if only this government had improved on economic sustenance of the people, if only this government had been able to get at the leadership. Mm. of that answer because people have been saying they don't have leaders no there are some leaders but he did just like you right we say let me let me don't do no joe go come with me for that they will do that is that uh, that small fly that that is on top of water there are some dramas underneath drumming for 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 those things if only government have I mean, been accounts, able to accounts, aggregate these people accounts were frozen do you understand know bring them bring them together discuss with them by now Government is supposed to say, even let us come and celebrate that one year anniversary of our collusion. Do you understand? Even if this comes from government, you see that the way people will even embrace it. Yeah, we are sorry for this thing that has happened. We are sorry for this. We are sorry for that. Let us celebrate that one year. Oh, you see that everybody will embrace it based on the fact that, like that guy said from uh, Kuru Joss, people need food on their tables. Yes. So, uh, I mean, Panels were set up 
to investigate this, Saka. I wonder what you make of these panels and the investigations. See, None of them have submitted their report yeah. already. Compensations have been uh, recommended. I do not know if they have been paid or whatsoever. Uh, as, we, as we were taking and looking at the work clocks, I know time is about probably round up. Firstly, I like what Ken said. You know, I said that God will bless him. It mm. is very criminal. Ken 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 right. It's very criminal. It is very wicked. It is very sinful for anybody to blame the protesters for the carnage that happened across the country. I want to ask the Lagos State government a simple question. Where is Usha? Usha was the guy that his picture was captured while dislocated on social media, holding a cut, a machete, a cutlass, with one of those that came to attack those the protesters at Alausa. And till date, nothing has happened to him. We know why Bitcoin was frozen in Nigeria because of NSAS, because the federal was where the funding came from. A lot of people's personal accounts were frozen because of NSAS. In fact, if you send money to people during the poster that just made the mistake of saying your narration was uh, NSAS money, your account was frozen. So people are still battling to unfreeze their accounts as we speak. So the government cannot be, you can't blame Nigerians for what happened. And it's just a way to deny and keep living in denial that nobody died at Lekki or nothing happened. I probably would not want to go into details of how many people that died. I probably won't want to go, I would not want to go into analysis of what happened, claims and counter claims. But I know for sure that the handling of Lekki toll gates by the security agencies was wrong, was unlawful, was criminal, was inhumane. And when those guys were going towards Lekki, they were protesters at Alausa. In fact, those at Alausa have committed a grievous crime than those at Lekki because, because I covered I covered the Alausa protests. And you know what? You know why? Because it's, it's, it's in the Nigerian terrorism and treason acts and what have you. If you barricade or stop a government institution arm of government from functioning, you've committed treason. So those at Alausa at that time they were going to Lekki were even more criminal than those at Lekki. And civil disturbance, the the the, the end product, the, the there's a there's a there is a penalty for civil disturbance, not death, not not trial, not summary execution without without facing a, a law court. Now, when it comes to the deployment and what have your military in, in we're doing this crisis, this, you send them to flashpoint. The flashpoint right. in Lagos. Sorry, let me say this: the flashpoint in Lagos was Orilegum, was a case to my tour, was um, Ogolonto in Ikubo. Oibu. Not lucky. Even in Ibu. And you know, and you send the military guy there, we under the, the that's what they call in security terms full bridge, no light, and they went full bridge. And you're claiming you want to tell us that no, they went there clapping for protesters to come and embrace us, we are your friends. Gentlemen, we have we have to go. Um uh, we have to leave answers now because uh someone here is taking us back to um the e voting. Uh Balo from Kaduna State says Please clarify me on this. Will votes be done electronically and transmitted electronically, or is it only result that is uh, going to be? What, 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 what they are trying to say the there. What they are trying to say there is, in order for for our elections to be credible, some bogus numbers that are being manufactured along the line of counting. I know that for polling booths will, will be will be. To a very large extent, mm. ameliorated. In right. terms of, this is a polling unit, okay? There, it's the the, 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 the number of votes cast, probably 50. Then, out of the 50, 10 for party A, 10 for party B, 10 for party this, 10 for party that. All those things will now be transmitted electrically from, from that unit. polling unit so to the central mm. to the so, central canteen so uh, the area. voting is going to be manual the, ma the vote is still going to and be uh, manual you know it. but then transmission, transmission of, of, of results, results is what is so as to so as to distort all those uh, bogus <laughs> figures so that you don't wait the whole day yeah. for results to get to <laughs> gentlemen we have to go now but i'd like to thank you most kindly for your views and your thoughts uh Fascinating insights indeed on the program as well. Political technocrat Dr. Dio Kayode, thank you so much uh, for always coming on the program. Uh, my brother and friend, media consultant, uh, public affairs analyst. Yeah, I was smiling because I was talking to you. Uh, well, so that after now we will go somewhere. I'm sure you'll do something for me. So that <laughs> <laughs> we are still in a you said we, we, are still money, we are still in technical <laughs> economic recession. <laughs> And of course, my brother as well, uh, Kennedy San, uh, is a public affairs analyst, uh, lecturer, activist. Uh, thank you so much. It's always a hard job keeping you a bit calm. Should we beg you not to go on strike? Ask him. 
<laughs> Thank you so much indeed for your thoughts, uh, Kennedy Insan, on the program this afternoon. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. All right, and of course, uh, to our esteemed viewers, thank you so much uh, for always being there. Contributors on the program as well. Some of you tried to call. Uh, some of you did us text messages. Thank you so much. We couldn't take some of your calls and messages. But thank you most kindly. The program returns next week, Saturday, as we zero in on the biggest stories, uh, of course, for next week. I'm Kelly Egiga. Good afternoon.